गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर अनिल अरफ अक्सद ओ बी जी वाई एन स्पेशलिस्ट टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द समथिंग अबाउट साइंस सिम्टम्स रिलेटेड टू प्री एक्लेम्शिया सो आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू मेक इट सिंपल फॉर इवन नॉन मेजिकल पीपल कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो प्री एक्लेम्सिया इज ए मेडिकल कंडीशन एंड दिस इज मोस्टली अकर्स इन एक्सट्रीम ऑफ एजेस वेन द वुमेन गेट प्रेगनेंट एक्सट्रीम ऑफ एजेस मीन्स इट मोस्टली अटैक ऑन टीन एजर्स इफ सम वन गेट मैरिड इन देयर टीन एज एंड 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 द लेट एज marriages so uh, when someone uh, married after their th- 35s so this condition uh, can occur in their life and also uh, if there uh, someone have the uh, family history of high blood pressure so these are the Sim- few simple things i am telling you about the preeclampsia so there is lot of lot lot physiology and mechanism uh, what is going inside so uh, today i am not uh, here to uh, get you confused about the medical terminologies but uh, i want to show you uh, that's why i i uh, search uh, these images for you to look look how preeclampsia is effect on your condition when someone get pregnant so uh, preeclampsia when uh, it is started uh, mainly after uh, 20 weeks of pregnancy so if someone has high blood pressure before 20 weeks of pregnancy so it means they already have family history or, or they already have the condition of uh, high blood pressure hypertension they are already hypertensive so this blood pressure is called chronic hypertension when we already have blood pressure and we get married and we get pregnant so uh, but preeclampsia the blood pressure which occurs after 20th week of pregnancy 20th gestational weeks so in preeclampsia someone uh, uh, how someone can identify by themselves that they have a symptoms of preeclampsia uh, lady must feel the headache i'll show you the critical severe sign someone feel headache and nausea vomiting and when the condition sometimes condition get worse see th- these are the severe preeclampsia signs so somebody can recognize or identify these are the headaches confusions and history of uh, convulsion sometimes like uh, they might have uh, some uh, fits like condition or experience some fits and there is uh, some respiratory symptoms also uh, with uh, associated with preeclampsia people uh, a woman uh, sometimes she feels something shortness of breath or some nausea and vomiting and sometime she feel a right upper quadrant pain uh, which is the sign that uh, she may have involvement of her liver and mostly the woman uh, the patient or we can say the woman uh, who came to us or who is coming us Uh, with the symptoms of uh, preeclampsia so 
how we recognize that this is the case of preeclampsia by her blood pressure by her urine test and by her sign and symptoms her condition clinical history all things matters so if the woman have a blood pressure uh, even sometimes it happens that uh, women uh, many women are asymptomatic but sudden blood pressure she she her blood pressure suddenly gets high so this is also the case sometimes we, people are asymptomatic but the diagnostic point are that uh, we find uh, we find uh, protein in their urine the women with high blood pressure and protein in their urine uh, it uh, it depends how much protein sometimes it comes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so whenever even 1 plus or 2 plus uh, with the high blood pressure there is a warning sign that the woman might go get into the preeclampsia and sometimes uh, patient come with confusion sometimes patient come with high bp and vomiting so uh, i have seen many many preeclampsia case in my life and cases in my life and that's why i'm telling you and i want you to be informed about this condition so i think uh, you are now at least you can if there is some woman in, at your home she is pregnant she is teenage or she is elderly and she gets uh, she started in her pregnancy uh, she feels some headache or she feels some uh, uh, pain vomiting like and some blurring of vision blurring of vision is another important sign and uh, so she must go to the, the her doctor you have to be very careful about preeclampsia it is most severe condition and uh, a patient get can get convulsion or fits and she may uh, it is dangerous for both of mother and child so uh, and sometimes until and unless uh, delivery uh, must be we have to deliver the baby because preeclampsia related to placenta so we have to deliver that placenta so, uh, so that uh, patient gets okay and it depends uh, we don't know sometimes it's very severe in uh, after 20 weeks sometimes uh, at 29 weeks 30 weeks uh, so if we manage uh, and we give, we take care of ourselves we go a regular visit to our doctors and we take medicine on time and regular and uh, just uh, just be in touch with your doctor and you may have more than uh, one or two visit a week if you have uh, high blood pressure because when you have high blood pressure you are a high risk so uh, to overcome this condition you must uh, consult with your doctor and surely firstly you have to uh, to pray for you and give all your worries to god and uh, you have uh, your clinician and you go to them and they will do uh, the best for you whatever in their hand but all things remember always remember everything is in god's hand and uh, when we are treating the patient all it it's all about god sometimes we do a lots of effort to uh, try to for the patient that uh, she uh, will become uh, okay but our efforts gets uh, gives no results but sometimes even we just god is uh, watching us and he given us a healing power so sometimes it's miracle for us even we don't know what we are doing for patient and uh, it happens 
just god uh, sees how much we are dedicated for our patient how much we love and sincere with patient and then he give us a power of healing and he use us and he use our hands to heal the people so uh, it's uh, we have to be very thankful to god that he given us uh, this uh, very uh, very beautiful and the power of healing uh, whenever he want us to so uh, it depends always keep faith on god first and then Uh, don't be uh, careless from your condition when you feel something you are having confusions headache vomiting right upper quadrant pain and blurring of vision and uh, if it's like condition so uh, don't delay it and go to the doctor and if you have any question you can ask in comment section and thank you so much and god bless you all